kitchen a very scientific <gasps> it's dissolving aristotle and now it's changing color they're always asking questions both general and specific what does the book say oh uh, perhaps a few more drops You see, Newton and Echo, this rope is going to make it much easier lifting things up to the bench. Right, Madame Curie? Yes, Aristotle. Paul Newton! Good! Oh, spiffling! It works! <laughs> Science can make difficult jobs much, much easier. <laughs> oh, it's not easier for me. <laughs> oh, but it is for me. It's another failure, Aristotle. Oh, maybe, but one day we'll succeed. <laughs> Oh, it's a great shame, Madame Curie. I do wish we could get our science to work when those young boffins are around. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, yes. You're making an awful lot of noise up there, Aristotle. I'm jumping up and down on the tile to loosen it, Madame Curie. Well, that, that's not very clever. Aren't you just wedging it tighter? Well, you won't unwedge it by banging it, and if we don't open it, I can't get in. Oh, dear. There must be an easier way of loosening the tile without all this effort. Hmm. Oh, a scientific way. Dynamite! Ah! Dynamite? That's a little bit extreme, don't you think? It's only a small tile. Then we'll only need a small amount of dynamite. Oh. You wait there. I'll see what I can do. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I don't like this one little bit. Watch out for that loose break, Newton. Oh, wait for me. Yoo-hoo! Aristotle! Madame Curie? Anyone at home? Oh, of course they're at home, Echo. They never go out. Too busy trying to discover things and never getting anywhere. <laughs> oh, there's Aristotle Newton. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Looks oh. like he's just discovered his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Go away. Get away from here now. But we just got here. What's wrong, Aristotle? We only came to visit. We thought we'd come over and bother you for something to do. Yeah. You can't stay here because of the dynamite. Dynamite? dynamite? Yes, the tile's stuck, and Madame Curie's about to blow it up, and the rest of the kitchen with it, I suspect. Oh, well, have you tried opening it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. What a spiffling idea. <laughs> of course we have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's the first thing we thought of. We're not scientists for nothing, you know. <laughs> oh, no, not science again. <laughs> I'm out of here. There's nothing wrong with science. It tells you how the world works. How? <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered why the night is dark and why there are stars in the sky or why the sink drips all right why is the night dark and why are there stars in the sky why does the sink drip hmm well we don't know that's why we're scientists <laughs> oh you should try it one day it's fun well perhaps we should try and remove this tile first before madame curie blows you up oh would you <laughs> come on newton Oh, how spiffling! <laughs> the dynamite. Now, we'll try lifting first, uh -huh. and if that doesn't work, we'll try pushing, shoving, and heaving. Right. right. Lift. Uh, now, shove. Uh, uh, <laughs> This tile will never move. Oh. Dynamite's almost ready. Oh, oh dear. Oh. oh, man. Well, that's it, I suppose. Goodbye, tile. Goodbye, kitchen. <laughs> well, can't you use science to help you move it? 
Yeah. Science must be good for something. Well, I'm sure I could, if I could think of anything. Well, I certainly can't think of anything. Me either. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you've done it this time, Newton. Newton, my... Sorry. Oh, it's brilliant. Simply spiffling. What? That fork will move the tile in no time. You mean we can fork the tile up? Oh, no. Lever it up. Oh. I should have thought of it myself. It's very scientific. It is? Yeah. Yes! Ah! <laughs> it's coming along nicely now. Let's see. Um, right. Bring the tip of the fork under the tile. Good. OK. That's it. You see, the fork is the lever. Mm -hmm. Now, Place the fulcrum under the lever. <laughs> the fulcrum? Yes, the cork. The cork. Oh. A lever is only really useful uh. when it works oh. together with oh. a fulcrum. Oh, I see. The lever's the fork. And the fulcrum's the cork. Exactly. Now, push down on the lever. Mm. Push. Uh. 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 Push harder. Uh. 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 Mm. Oh, typical. It's another flop. No. Oh. Try bringing the fulcrum closer to the tile. Closer. Oh. Good. Uh, right. Yes, closer, closer. There? That's better. Okay. Good. Now press down, everybody. Push. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 moving. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is easy. Oh, yes, there's, there's nothing to it. Uh, that's science for you. You see, the lever is a very simple device and very clever, too. If you had a lever long enough, you could lift the entire world. If the lever is the fork... And the fulcrum is the cork... You can lift up a tile with, with great, great ease. ease. With the lever much longer... And the fulcrum much stronger... You can shift the whole world, if you please. See Madame Curie! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Curie! We put the tip of the fork under the tile, and using the cork as a fulcrum, we applied force to the end of the fork, and thus we we're able to lift the tile. It's ready. Oh, thank you very much. Don't snatch it. Stop talking. Ah, delicious. Loosening oh, that tile it. sure was thirsty work. <laughs> Mm. That was the dynamite! What? He's gonna get a big bang out of that. Actually, <laughs> Madame Curie, I think it tasted much more like chocolate milk. Hmm? I must have used the wrong ingredients. Oh, no, I don't think so. You see, it was so delicious and so tasty, mm. it actually was dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Aristotle? Oh, Madame Curie. <laughs> 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 is the fork and the fulcrum is the cork you can lift up a tile with, with great, great ease with the lever much longer and a fulcrum much stronger you can shift the whole world if you please <laughs> <laughs>